Hello. Yeah. Hell yeah. It is early December 2020, and Joey, Michael, and I are in the Linville Gorge Wilderness. Yeah, we are. Alrighty. We're going to set off on what's planned to be a three day backpacking trip doing the Is That All You Got loop. Is that all you got? We're, uh, anytime you go in the gorge, the plans are really a uh, best idea and we'll take it as it comes. Our biggest challenges of the trip are going to be the crossings of the Linville River that we have, as well as the weather. They're calling for quite a bit of rain the rest of the day today, and then the temperatures are gonna drop tomorrow. So we'll have a little bit of wet, a little bit of cold, and hopefully a lot of fun. A little this and that, mm -hmm. and a lot of fun. It's time to hit the trail. Hawksbill Mountain. Making our way down the Spinch Ridge Trail for the first several miles of our trip until we make it to the Linville River. Down at the Linville River. We are standing in the middle of it right now at the old Spence Ridge Bridge. We're gonna find a way to hopefully pick our way across downstream a little bit and continue on our way for the day. We made it across. Water was about mid to upper thigh deep and extremely cold, including a leap of faith across this little chasm right here to get to the far side. making our way down the Linville Gorge Trail.
making our way towards camp hoping to get there before the rain starts the North Carolina wall There's a fairly recent rock slide underneath the shrouded ridge. Home sweet home. We've made to camp for night one. A beautiful riverside spot along the Linville Gorge Trail. We did have a brief shower roll through a couple minutes ago, so we're gonna scurry and get set up before the big rains come. The Is That All You Got loop was popularized in 2011 by the Gorge Rats. The loop became considerably more difficult in 2013 when the Spence Ridge Bridge was washed away by flood. Michael and Joey are getting camp set up on this side of the site. Michael's got a little tin action going, and Joey is tarping it tonight. I make a few adjustments to it. Let's see how it plays out. It should be a beautiful view for Joey. <laughs> yeah, man. On this trip, we're using the Grandfather Ranger District Map by Pisgah Map Co., as well as the free Linville Gorge Wilderness Map Downloads for the free Avenza app. Let's take a look at the map for day one. We started this day at the Spence Ridge Trailhead. Took the Spence Ridge Trail down to cross the Linville River and then followed the Linville Gorge Trail for several more miles before setting up camp for the night. Day one was about six and a half miles. We made it to the end of day one. The sun is either setting now or has already set. It's a little <laughs> bit after four, but the sun goes down quite early with the walls of the gorge towering over us. So we're already starting to get some dinner in us. Michael's leading the way there. I'm sure Joey and I won't be too far behind. We had a great adventurous day today. The crossing of the Linville River was <laughs> tough, but, but not impossible. Yes. And on the map, or if you look at the elevation of the Linville Gorge Trail, it looks relatively flat. However, it's not flat. It's up and down the entire way. A uh, much more difficult trail than you would think just looking it at is. it, yeah. but a very adventurous trail with great views of the river, great views of the east side of the gorge. Uh, we had a North, great time. Yeah, the North Carolina wall view, which is awesome. Great stuff for us. We've had a couple small rain showers come through so far. Again, they are calling for heavy rains later on, but we've got camp set up, so we're ready to batten down the hatches and survive the worst of it. And that'll be the end of day one. That's right. Good night. Good night. day two of our trip here in the Linville Gorge Wilderness of Pisgah National Forest, North Carolina. We had a, a bit of a rambunctious evening last night due to the steady rain that came in and where we had chosen to set up our tarp was in a bit of a, a water runway so we were kind of dancing around the uh, water but the rain fortunately ended for us pretty soon after going to bed. We had set up Joey's tent for him so he was out of the uh, water runway and we could just hang out under the tarp. Try as you might to do something different. Yeah. Gotta go back to basics sometimes. And uh, fortunately we all stayed pretty dry throughout the night. A little wind came through from time to time but it wasn't too bad. And then hopefully that should be the end of our rain for the trip and uh, we can stay dry the rest of the time. So today we are going to go maybe in the 9 or 10 mile range. We're gonna 
across the Linville River again and down at the Mountains of Sea Trail and then we're going to head up to the top of the East Rim and hopefully enjoy some great views up there. So we're excited for another good day in the Linville Gorge. Looking good. We finished up our section of the Linville Gorge Trail and are now trekking the unofficial Leadmine Trail heading towards our crossing of the Linville River. Short off with the sun just poking up over the top. This is Daffodil Flats. Over in the corner up there is the remains of a uh, homestead. And during the bloom months, this is a very popular day hike area for everyone to come down and check out the field of daffodils. Obviously, this is not the season for them. This section of the trail is straight up the side of the mountain. Making our way down the mountains to Sea Trail now. The second half of the Leadmine Trail was absolutely brutal. A half dozen up and downs. We've made it to our crossing of the Linville River at the MST. Water is a little higher after the rains last night. It's definitely going to be chilly, but we should be able to make it across here. We enjoyed a nice lunch after the cold crossing of the Linville River. Now we're about to leave it behind and take the MST up to the East Rim. Rising up on the MST. A beautiful day for us, a bit windy. There's Lake James at the southern end of the gorge, the outflow of the Linville River. Very flat land out to the east of the gorge. Just two hours ago, we were down on the banks of the river. Now we're looking down from several thousand feet up. Yeah, buddy. 
And goalie pipe water source. Yeah. And water with a view. Very cool, unique site up here on Short Off. This is the Short Off Pond. Making our way along the MST, heading towards camp. Trying to make good time, but there's a lot of beautiful views distracting us. Home sweet home. We've made to camp for the night. Got a nice small spot here off the MST with a couple uh, extra spots there in the back for us to set up. The Linville Gorge Trail System is constantly evolving thanks to tireless volunteer efforts. In 2021, the Ledmine Trail will become an officially maintained U.S. Forest Service Trail. Let's take a look at the map for day two. We started at our campsite along the Linville River, finished off the Linville Gorge Trail until it connects with the unofficial Leadmine Trail, which is not included on this map, but is included on the free Linville Gorge Wilderness app download. And that took us up to connect with the Mountains to Sea Trail, which we then followed to cross the Linville River for a second time, continuing up the climb to Short Off Mountain and then we set up camp somewhere in this area. Day two was about nine miles. Alrighty. All right. well, day two of our trip here in the Linville Gorge has been equal parts beautiful, difficult, and adventurous. Mm. Yes, mm. I would say so. Started out with a difficult trek along the Lead Mine Trail and then a very cold and long we were probably in the water for about five to ten minutes crossing Ooh. of the linville river Whew. that's a serious ouch on the old uh, toes there <laughs> until they go numb <laughs> right <laughs> yeah. we didn't see anyone yesterday today we've seen quite a few day hikers especially up on the east rim past uh, i think two groups of backpackers including one group a trifecta of brant dave and griff What's up guys? Cool to meet those guys and a big shout out to Brant who said he had watched all the videos so thank you I appreciate it buddy. It's awesome. We've got camp set up we're gonna get some dinner in us try to keep warm throughout the night and uh, that'll be it for day two. Good okay. night. Good night. Peace. Good morning. Good morning. morning. We made it to day three, the final day of our trip here in the Linville Gorge Wilderness of Pisgah National Forest, North Carolina. Last night was uh, got down to a couple degrees below freezing, which was a little warmer than we anticipated, so everyone was able to stay comfortable throughout the night. Easy day. Mm -hmm. Today we've probably got about six miles or so to finish off the Is That All You Got loop. And uh, it certainly tested tested us over the past two days. We're looking forward to a handful of good views today as we traverse yeah. along the east rim to get back to the Spinch Ridge Trailhead. And definitely hopeful that it's less windy than yesterday so we can actually enjoy the views for more <laughs> than a split second before running back into the uh, cover. It's a great view. All right. <laughs> <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> We're ready to hit the trail. Let's All do right. it. Heading down, down, down to the Saddle Gap area before we'll pop back up 
to the chimneys. Our climb up has begun. Breathtaking views on a spectacular day. bunch of wild rock formations in the gorge. You can see how big it is with Joey standing there in that cold corner. It is extremely cold on this side of the mountain. But also extremely beautiful. Another adventure in the Linville Gorge, Joey, and this time we actually managed to complete our loop. Yeah. How'd things go for us? Well, packed a whole lot of adventure into two days, three days, two nights. Um, river is very cold, <laughs> if you didn't think so already. <laughs> um, but we got across it. The rain was not a major obstacle. Um, came out here this trip with a couple things on my mind to sort out and seek some clarity on. and This has certainly helped with that. And, of course, I mean, I'll just keep it short and sweet. It's always nice to be in the wilderness, hanging out with the boys. So, gotten everything you could want out of this trip. Had a blast, and as you can see, it is only getting sweeter and sweeter. So, home sweet home. Absolutely gorgeous view. Had to say it at least once. Your first winter backpacking trip in the books, Michael? Mm hmm How's our three-day adventure in the Limbo Gorge been? It's definitely been a challenge. Um, I mean, I've been on plenty of backpacking trips all around this area. Close to here, I was on Grandfather Mountain earlier this summer. Great beard earlier this spring, but nothing quite like this. It was definitely a little more challenging uh, in terms of the hike and dealing with the water temperature. I was actually really surprised at how well it turned out. This is just the grandest time. This is a nice refreshing break from everything at home, from work life and all that. So it was also a nice time of uh, being gifted. Um, my boss went out and suddenly bought me a sleeping bag that was rated for five degrees without expectation. And yeah, I mean, it's just been, it's been great vibes and good times. Big blocks of ice heading up to the top of Table Rock. We've made it up to the high point of our trip. This is a view from Table Rock, looking down into the gorge. We've been all around down there the past three days.
Here's a good look at the Black Mountains, the highest range east of the Mississippi. Let's take a look at the map for day three. We started at our campsite along the Mountains to Sea Trail, contained along the MST past the chimneys, hit the summit of Table Rock, came back down, continued on Table Rock Gap Trail to take us back to the Spinch Ridge Trailhead where we finished off our trip. Day three was about six and a half miles for a trip total of approximately 22 miles. We have finished Ooh. off the Is That All You Got loop here in the Linville Gorge. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Uh, yeah, so in our last year's trip, when we got stifled by the river, um, I had said in my reflections bit that I wanted to come back out and actually get a loop done, see more of the gorge, and not get stuck by some kind of obstacle. And so mission accomplished. Feeling really good about that. Yep, the two river crossings were difficult and cold, but we mm -hmm. made it through it. Many, many challenging climbs throughout the past couple days. Ooh, uh, today was a big, big climb day as well. We made it through it. Beautiful trip here, here in the mm -hmm. gorge. Yeah, man. Everything really went pretty well for us. You know, we had the rain the first night, uh, low temps the second night, but we stayed dry and we stayed warm, so can't have any complaints there. December in the wilderness, if you complain about what we got, uh, man. Ask, asking a lot. This is perfect. This yeah. is perfect. Well, that'll be the end of it for us. Goodbye.